So this is a walk that the Jewish people would have to take from the train station. Except I don't know where the train station is. You can walk up and down it. I've seen somebody doing it. I don't really want to take the guided tour. Do you want to just go off road and just gallop, gallop and sit and go for it? Most of it, yeah. I mean, this is kind of un... I didn't think it would be this big. I know I've seen pictures of it, but... It was drone footage, you know drone footage is always misleading. thing just happened. The sound completely just disappeared. Just complete silence. <sighs> How quiet is it? That is crazy that it just totally cut out completely. And there's no barriers, it's just... It's weird. Oh, I get goosebumps and it's roasting. What's that about? It's just... It's just the sheer size of it. It's quite unbelievable, isn't it? So there's lots of juice here today. There's lots of masses and ceremonies going on and singing. I don't know if you're going to see any of it, but these are the collapsed gas chambers. I feel quite sick. It's really fucking hard. I'm gonna start greeting like a big girl in a minute, man. Honestly. I think you just seen those Israel flags. Just set me off a bit with them. It's just kids as well, you know? I should never need to deal with something like that. There's loads of kids wearing the Kevin Israel flag coming in. Over there. They're all on a line. Oh yes. I totally wasn't expecting to see hundreds of kids walking about with your Israel flags on their on their backs. It's kinda cool. Yeah. It's still important for Did you get it? Yeah. Oh it's so strange. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here's here's one of the collapsed gas chambers. It's like someone's walked over your grave. That's the only feeling I can describe that. Is. How? I don't understand. I don't understand how the people in America don't believe this happened. They deny this ever. 
can you deny this? Be a bit much there. <laughs> really did. Such a haunting place. And whenever they started praying and singing, it just totally got to me. So, I don't know. I've had a weird couple of days. I've had a weird couple of weeks. So, after six years, I lost my job. Last week, I was made redundant. And Ainsley and I have worked together for that whole time. A long time we spent together, so that shook me. I started a new temporary job. Is this the end of Gal's Gallivance? That's what I keep thinking. And I don't know. Fine. Never look at one of them. What's up there? I don't really know anymore. I just keep seeing things. Now that I've had a few minutes to reflect on what I said, no, this isn't the end of Galaxy Elephants. There's no way. If anything, this gives me more time to go travelling. So that's it, it's a promise. More travelling. Ten countries so far, let's make it 20. Can't wait. Is this not the actual bunks and stuff? Because we haven't been in one of these yet. Let's take me go inside one of these houses and see the beds. Oh my god, the smell. Holy hell, this is dark. Look at these names, man. This must be some names of people that died here. Look at all the names of people who wrote on the wall. God, this is crazy. Okay, next. Yeah, this is the toilet. That's appropriate, isn't it? Fucking idiot. Aye, well done. Top tip, turn your phone off when you come here. Or you'll end up looking like that guy. I only have one more GoPro battery with me today. <laughs> I'm just going to end this episode here because I don't really know what to say other than this place is really important. Come and see it and never forget what's happened here. But be, be aware of what you're getting yourself into. See you in the next episode.